And we made it to the base of Mount Chavano. So this is the last 14er in the chain of 14ers, the string of 14ers in Colorado that makes up Nolan's 14, starting all the way north near Leadville with Mount Massive. So we're all the way south now in the Arkansas River Valley, and we're gonna go give Mount Chavano a go in. Yes, how? How could I not take out the Innovates once again after the success and the brilliance of grip in the Innovate? How could I not wear these again? Now, I'm not as familiar with the uh, trail conditions here on Mount Chavano, but at the end of the day, these shoes crushed it. So we're gonna go with Innovate once again over Solomon and over Hoka, which frankly, it's a couple curveballs this summer. Like I was expecting to run a lot more in the Solomon S Lab Sense 8 SGs. And then the Hoka EVO Jaws did their bit and then out of the blue, here comes Innovate with this incredible eight millimeter lug depth. So anyway, I digress. Very excited about this shoe. And one more quick point before we get going here is that I just got to say thank you for a lot of different things. First of all, for coming back and watching so consistently. Uh, that's part of my goal is to be consistent with you by publishing every day. Um, but like I, you know, okay, I'll just say it the YouTube channel, like we hit 90,000 subscribers yesterday. Like it's just blowing my mind, the path and the journey that we are on. And I'm going to say together, even though we haven't met in person, many of you, maybe someday a group runs around the world. But uh, the reason, you know, this channel keeps growing is because of you. Okay. Now, listen, I do No, I'll fully, you know, um, embrace the fact that, yeah, it's a lot of work making the daily vlog. Um, I try to be, you know, bring consistency to the vlog, pr bring as much value to the vlog, a little bit of my running uh, insights. For example, yesterday talking about the, the fourth phase of our, uh, of our biomechanics, our running gait with the leg swing, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, the channel is growing because of all of you. So thank you. But here we are. I, it's hard for me, frankly. I'm not good at it, asking for help. And I'm going to ask you for help right now. I, you know, I, I've been dreaming about like having a mission on this earth where I can help others, um, hopefully inspire others and hopefully provide for my family at the same time, right? Isn't that like the trick on this earth is to find something you love doing, but also, you know, keep the lights on and put milk in the refrigerator type deal. So with that said, I just want to ask, could you help? share the channel. All right. And how can you, so we're at 90,000. I'm just wondering, and I've got a little announcement here in one second. I'm just wondering if we could get to a hundred thousand, like, I don't know, in the next month, let's say, let's say by August 1st, I think we could do it together. If you could let your, your friends, your family, but especially of course your running friends and family members who just love this sport, love, you know, maybe running shoe reviews, could you grab a link to one of your favorite vlogs from the past 18 months? I'm thinking of like the New York City Marathon group run. I'm thinking of two days ago when True Love ran 10 minutes. That's like a, that's like a top 10 vlog for me now. Um, I would appreciate it because it does help me basically produce, edit, um, upload, make the thumbnail, all that stuff to make these vlogs as high of quality as possible. And on that note, I have decided, yes, just so you know, I'm going to drop the hint right now. Here's the announcement. At 100,000 subscribers, we are going to publish 
the Butter My Bread t-shirt, all right? So sweatshirts, t-shirts, uh, long sleeves. It's actually, the design is looking really, really good. It's not done yet, the design, but it's coming along really nice. So to, when we get to 100,000, whether that's like in a month or two months, or maybe in two weeks, we will release the Butter My Bread t-shirt. Sound good? Is that a deal? So thank you for sharing the vlog. It means a lot. It means a lot to the family. And I just wanted to mention that before we hit the trail. Let's do this enough talking onward and upward innovates. Let's go. No, there we go. Got to the top. Woo! Working. Always working. You can do this too, everyone. You can do this too. Believe in yourself and patience. Believe in yourself and patience. Okay, I think I'm gonna try and go for the tap marks. go we did it fkt season continues oh nelly oh man I, again a tip of the cap tip of the cap to ryan uh he is just crushing these 14ers and i managed to get mount chavano today by one minute but it was not easy so ryan great job throwing down hard times on the 14ers whoo i had to, you heard my breathing on the way up mount chavano so the goal today was to get the mount chavano ascent fkt but I also decided to go over to Tabaguach and get the round trip uh, from car to car or trailhead to trailhead for Chavano, Tabaguach, back to Chavano, and then back down to the car. So I managed to do that. Uh, tip of the cap to Alex Nichols. Alex is a great runner from Colorado Springs. And uh, gosh, so I, I managed to get both, but I will say, and I think I accidentally called these shoes the wrong shoe this morning, the X Talons, the Innovate X Talon G260s, not the Terra Ultras, uh, the X Talon, all these shoe names. Uh, so the Innovate X Talon G260s crushed it today on Mount Chavano. No complaints, but I will say one thing, the onus is on me to lift my feet up, lift my knees up, I fell. Come, coming off a of Tabaguach, probably the worst fall of my trail. Like I had to stop for at least a minute and just like gather myself so I didn't pass out because it was it was a doozy. Like I didn't catch myself, um, landed right on my arm, right on my left knee, right on my left hip, 
we're gonna survive, but it was, uh, it was, you know, no messing around, absolutely. So I think what happened is the lugs on the bottom of this shoe are so tall, eight millimeter lug depth, I just clipped my left foot Oh, and, and I went I went right down. Anyway, it was amazing, absolutely epic. And as I mentioned, oh yeah, and here's the stats for the run on your screen right now. 5,100 5, feet of vertical gain and loss for the day. And I will say like that time round trip from the trailhead to Tabaguach and back is absolutely beatable. Somebody else should go lower the time. I think I was 242 round trip. Um, because I, after my fall, I just was like a little sketched out, had to collect myself. So anyway, hopefully somebody else this summer can go drop that time even lower. And one last point, as I was saying, up on top of the mountain, believe in yourself. I'm not saying you're gonna go out and run FKTs on 14ers. It's not easy, but I will say this much. Folks are starting to post on the Facebook group, uh, which is linked down below, their FKTs wherever they live in the world, like in, in Arkansas, in New York, in Montana, in you know Texas. It's amazing, like I think with no races happening right now, um, people are starting to realize, okay, if I wanna push myself just a little harder for the month of June, the month, the month of July, I can start chasing down FKTs where I live. So it's absolutely inspiring. You can chase down FKTs or personal best wherever you live. And uh, cause guess what, in 2021, I think races are gonna be back in full swing. So this 2020 might be the opportunity to really go chase them down. And speaking of racing and FKTs in 2019, I told the boys, if I come back with a W from a race, we're gonna go get Andy's. So since we're not racing in 2020 as much, 2021 or 2020 uh, is FKTs. If I get an FKT, I'm taking the boys out for Andy's. Let's go break the news at dinner. Dinner, we're back. There's the fam. He's back. He is back. Back on track. Oh, that's a good song. Little Brett Denon. Remember in 2019, Papa was racing? Yeah. And when he would race and bring home the W, what would we go do? Andy's. <laughs> Andy's. Today, Papa got two FKTs. Oh, so Andy. it's an Andy's night. It's two more. Two more. Boom. So we so crushing that. Go so I'm going to, because we're not winning races right now, but we're snagging FKTs, we're going to go get some Andy's. A little Ooh. custard. Sound good? Uh, after dinner. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, Boom. This was the greatest idea ever. Papa ever. Oh. Oh. But Papa gets two FKTs in one day. Two FKTs. A few days. And maybe, maybe that means since there was two FKTs, maybe that means double the toppings, huh? Oh. Uh, uh oh. Yes. Mount Shavano and Mount Tabaguach. Oh, Boom. Tabaguach. Tabaguach. See you at Andy's. Yeah, yeah, here he comes. Uh oh, they're going to the napkins. Good, crushing it, crushing it. Ah, uh, with that said, we are closing the vlog out. Great day, can't be uh, a bad day when you close it out with Andy's. Come on now, and we're gonna do the question of the day. Here we go. What are your 4th of July weekend plans? Is anybody like hopping in a local 5K, a virtual 5K? And I, I realize everyone outside the United States doesn't uh, sell, or maybe you do, but celebrate Independence Day in the US of A. But let us know down in the comments, what are your weekend plans? I'm sure there's gonna be more Andes or ice cream being eaten at the Demore household. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. We're gonna toss it back to last week's Mount Albert FKT right there, right there. Mount Elbert, FKT, right there, right there. Onward and upward, keep buttering that bread, everybody. All right, seek beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow.